Street Fighter V on ESPN, Twitch adding cheering function to the chat, and a Majora's Mask fan film that we may never see on this week's Quarter Roundup. All right, so the coolest piece of news this week is the fact that you're going to be able to watch the EVO 2016 Street Fighter V competition on ESPN2 on Sunday, July 17th at 7 p.m. PT. This is awesome. This just means I'm just one step closer to finally getting my eSports fantasy team together. <sighs> But in all seriousness, this is really awesome. I'm really glad that we're finally getting to see esports showing up on TV way more. And not just on ESPN 8 or at 2 a.m. when you're, there's really nothing else to put on. So this is, this is just really good news that esports is really starting to make tracks. Going from one thing that we'll be seeing to something that we wish we will be seeing. A Majora's Mask fan film that is being put together by Ember Labs. Who has released an amazing teaser trailer and claims to have an almost finished full feature film. We want to see this so badly, but we have our doubts that we'll ever be able to see this. Because we know how tight Nintendo is with their properties, and if this does see the light of day, it won't be there for very long before Nintendo squashes it. A couple of cool things that Blizzard released this last week was the competitive play on Overwatch, which I went through the entire ranking process and ranked pretty well for myself, I do say so myself, and then completely tanked my score. Junkrat, you just need to play on the point. We would have won if you were on the frickin' point. At least I'm not a Mercy player who accidentally got nerfed this last week when their healing and damage boost no longer connected with players when they were not in line of sight. Now the team did come out and say that this was by accident and they will be fixing it. Hopefully we'll be seeing this sooner rather than later. Blizzard did something else really cool this last week. They released a Heroes of the Storm in development video showing off two new characters, Gul'dan and Oriel, as well as some mounts and skins for them. This video didn't give us any real detail on what these characters will be doing, but just kind of highlighting what they've got coming down the pipeline. Twitch added a cheer function to their chat, which is a very complex system where users buy a digital fund called Bits, and then while watching a streamer decide, I'm feeling generous, I really like this streamer, I'm going to give that user some Bits. Now depending on how many Bits you have will play a different animation per Bit count. And then Twitch keeps a percentage of that money and then the rest goes to the streamer which sounds exactly like every single adult webcam site. That might have been a little too revealing, but it's still a little dirty and awkward. So the last two things that I want to talk to you guys about is some pretty cool games. The first of them is Fru, which was shown off at E3 a while back, but it looks like we actually will be seeing something this year. It honestly is the first Kinect game I have seen that I really do want. It's got unique mechanics as well as making the Kinect actually valuable. The second is Skullgirl, which is heading over to the iOS and Android market. What is so cool about this game? The fact that it is a fighting game on your phone. This hasn't really been the most successful thing in the world, but this one actually might make it. It is currently in closed beta, but from the ads that we have seen, it looks pretty cool. This actually led to our point of contention this week between Krug and Adrock. A can a fighting game genre make it on the mobile market? Let us know what you guys think down in the comments below. So that's it for us this week on Quarter Roundup. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my name is Indigo, and I'll see you guys on the forums. Thank you guys for watching, and please make sure to hit that like button and give us a subscribe if this is your first time watching us. We will be back next week with more gaming news.